Alright, hello everyone, it's GStar321 here again, and we are back with more Mortal Kombat Deceptions Conquest. We have made it out of the Earthrealm village, and we are now in the main guts of Earthrealm itself. So if I bring up the map, this is what it looks like. It's much, much bigger than the actual Earthrealm village map. As you can see, it goes all the way across up to H, column H. And on the left hand side, we go down all the way to number 8. So it's a very large area, Earthrealm. Let's get straight into it. Shujinka, I see you have passed your test. Yes, Damashi. The power you gave me to copy other warriors worked well. I really felt as if I could fight like Master Bull Raicho. He was so impressed that he offered to train me personally. Excellent. There is much you can learn from him. But first, you should begin your quest. You must find six items of great importance. The Kamido. Think of them as tools of the gods. There is an impending doom that threatens the survival of all the realms. With these tools, the Elder Gods will vanquish this menace. Where do I find these? Kamidogu. They have been scattered throughout reality. Each one lies hidden in a different realm. The Elder Gods are unable to retrieve these items themselves, and therefore must elect a champion born within the realms to collect them. They have constructed portals and the Nexus to aid their champion in his quest. What is the Nexus? Where do I find it? Once you have found the first Kamido, I will show you what to do. Until then, good luck with your search. Thank you, Damashi. So there you go, we now have an actual goal. Shujinko has a purpose in life. He has to find six Kamidogu. Each of the Kamidogu are located in you know, each of the realms, like Damashi said. So we'll find the first Kamidogu here in Earth Realm. But that won't be until pretty much the end of Earthrealm here. Now the first side mission is given by this lady here walking. She's wearing white. Talk to her. Would you help me? I have traveled far from my township and have become quite lost. If you could find something to help guide me back home, I would be most grateful. Find something to help guide this young woman to her home. This is extremely easy. I'll show you where to find the item. Master Boraicho's house lies to the northeast. I should head in that direction. Yep, we'll go to Master Boraicho's house in a minute, but first there's a few things we need to take care of, like that side mission we just got. Now, something really bothers me here, okay? You can see at the moment we're standing at location A6. Now according to a guide, it says that there is a chest here, pretty much right here, containing Kenshi's alternate costume. I have played through Earthrealm here, no joke, like six to seven times prior to doing this run through, and I could not fucking find it. It is just not here. I do not know where it is. Kenshi's alternate costume chest is a complete mystery. I have no idea where it is. I've tried looking, you know, through all the crevices here, like this is A5 technically, but it's still close to A6. I've gone, if you run along this fence here and take a right, I mean we're at B6 now, but if we go behind these houses, see it's A6 here, the chest is nowhere to be found. I don't know. Unless it comes out only at a certain time, but the guy didn't specify that, so that's bullshit. Forget it. 250 gold coins. There's a few houses here, we might as well rob them since it's night time. I'll go ahead and complete that side mission I just got in a minute. But you know, like I said in the previous video, when it's night, I tend to just go in all the houses and steal the money. <laughs> Shujinko is a very, very bad 
Young man. There's a coin there behind the clothesline. We'll grab that. And a chest here. 300 platinum coins. Okay, have I gone in all the houses there? Yep. Okay, now if you look, pretty much see the chest here. Surrounded by the rocks and this big tree. If you look behind it, see there's an item there. Go ahead and grab it. And if you have a look at it. Oh, I've still got the sack of flour. <laughs> I must have forgotten to complete that quest in the Earthrealm village. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, so here you go. It's called a magnetic ore. This substance can be used to make a compass. So remember that lady wearing white needed an item to help her find her way home. You give her this and she will reward you. So let's see if we can find her roaming around. She's always usually roaming around here on this path here. I love how these coins just pop out of thin air. It's great. Okay, I don't know where the fuck she is. Maybe it's too dark. She's gone home. Well, how can she go home? She doesn't know where the fuck she's going. Where's she gone? There she is. Yeah, she just wanders around here. Talk to her. A lodestone. They are magnetic and always point north. I could easily find my way back home with that. May I buy it from you, sir? Would 50 jade coins be enough? 50 jade coins? Come on. That's atrocious. It should be in the hundreds. What a fucking joke. That's not even worth doing that side mission. Okay, so it's 6.30 almost. Now, there is a guy that stands outside the front of this house here. He should appear at 7am, pretty much like most other people. And he'll give us another side mission. Come on out, you old bastard. Where are you? There you are. Talk to him. They were waiting for me. I never saw the bandits coming. Without some cure root for a salve, my wounds will not heal properly. Please, stranger, bring me a piece of cure root from south of here. Locate a curative agent to aid the old man. Another easy side mission to complete. I'll show you how to get the cure root in just a second. First, I'm just going to continue running around, collecting any random coins I see. There's a cave here. Take note of this location. This is where we are on the map down there. A8 in the bottom left corner. We'll need to come here pretty much when we're about to leave Earthrealm. Any more loose coins in those trees? It's quite hard to see in between the trees. A lot of the times you'll find like a chest right behind one of the tree stumps and it's quite hard to see unless you move the camera around like this constantly. So make that a habit if there's a lot of trees around. Okay, so there's the Kira route. As you can see, it's in location. Where are we? B8? Yeah, B8. Grab that and let's have a look at it. Kira root, a root used to heal the sick. So we'll give it to that sick old man who just gave us that side mission. And we will complete it. Well, it certainly took you long enough to retrieve the Kira root for me. In any case, you did retrieve it, so I thank you. Take these coins as payment for your trouble. What the fuck? Did you hear what he said? It certainly took you long enough to find it. What a joke, it took me like a minute. Are you fucking kidding me? What the hell is wrong with you? Oh. Fucking take that. Now you're sick, you old bastard. Fuck off. Some of these people in these realms are just totally ungrateful for the shit you do for them, you know what I mean? Makes me sick. Let's talk to this guy. I don't know why. Do not distract me by babbling about your petty problems. <laughs> I like that. It's actually got some truth behind it. Most of the uh, things we call problems in life are bullshit, petty nonsense. So that guy was quite wise there. 
I like that. Let's open this. 300 sapphire coins. So we're running around a temple now. This is the Temple of Light. And is there anything else to collect here? I'm going to talk to this guy. Sir, perhaps this is not the best place for idle chatter. Okay, I get it. You're monks in a temple. I understand you're all meditating. So what does a young Shujinko do? He steals from the temple, of course. 75 blue coins. Let's talk to this guy. Greetings, child, and welcome to the Temple of the Order of Light. I am Wu, humble monk and head of this order. It is my pleasure to welcome you to this most noble monastery. Through the teachings of the Shaolin and Wushu masters, we attempt to educate the members of our local communities in ways of defending this realm from the unspeakable evil that lives beyond the veil between worlds. I only ask that you please leave the monks to their meditations and do not disturb them as they walk about the grounds. Okay, I'll leave you alone. I'll get out of here now. And... I mean, I can go ahead and start doing all the side missions now, but first, I'm going to do something that I basically have to do, and that is to go to that green circle there, which is our main mission. And that is basically training with Master Bo Rai Cho. It's actually not training with him, it's learning how to play as Master Bo Rai Cho. This is the first time in conquest mode where we become introduced to this basically as you meet characters throughout conquest mode you have to learn how to play as them you know the game will teach you how to use that character's different fighting styles it'll teach you the special moves and each time you have a fight from that point on you play as that character so we have to learn Borai Cho here Sub-Zero's alternate bio. He gives a fuck. That was his disgraceful alternate costume as well. Okay, let me just see if I can... loot any more coins in the area before I go ahead and start learning how to play as Borai Cho. I don't really want to do this. I fucking hate this guy, you know. You all know how I feel about Borai Cho, but this is unavoidable. It has to happen, so... I'm going to bite my tongue and do it. Greetings, Shuchinko. It is good to see you again. As promised, I will now impart to you my most powerful techniques. I am honored, <laughs> Master Boracho. I train my most promising students here at my home, away from prying eyes, to assure that my secrets are known only to those I trust. Now, let us begin your training. Fuck. Okay, here we go. So the game is now going to teach us how to play as Boraicho. There he is. Boraicho. Boraicho. We're going to go through all his fighting styles. We'll learn his special moves. And by the end of this training session, if that's what you want to call it, we will become a master of Boraicho. Well... I can tell you, I'm pretty much going to forget how to play as this guy. I will remember key combos because, like I said, from this point on, every time I get into a fight, I'm going to have to play as Bo Rai Cho for that fight until I meet the next character and then I go through, you know, learning how to play as them, which is actually Sub Zero after this. So let's try and make our. Play with Bo Rai Cho as short as possible. Okay, your next lessons will encompass sumo high attacks. Fucking hell, what a style. Sumo. Pathetic. Yep, headbutt. Now you will learn sumo basic low attacks. Oh, great. And the fucking music is going in an endless loop here. Because I'm playing this on an emulator, sometimes this happens, and it will only stop until you complete what you're currently doing, so this is going to go on for a while. Sumo also utilizes power and pop-up attacks, alright. Oh, 
I like that move, I have to admit. The double hand push. Now on to sumo basic combos. What the fuck? You know, when I play as Bo-Rai Cho for the fights, I never ever spend any time in his sumo style. Next sumo advanced combos. It's just too shit. The combos are ineffective, I find. What the hell? Come on. I usually just use his weapon when I'm fighting with him. You know, that ridiculous walking stick. I think it's called the Jojutsu. Okay, now, Shujinko, you will begin your training with Drunken Fist High Attacks. Look at him! He can't even fucking stand still. Look, it's not really a problem, but trying to control him like this, it's... It's a bit awkward, like when you tap forward, there's a bit of a delay. Like he'll walk forward and then stop for a second. See how he stops and then he keeps walking and it's the same when you press back. I, I absolutely detest this fighting style. I detest Bo Rai Cho. I detest everything he stands for. He's an absolute fucking atrocity. Look at him! The next lessons will teach you drunken fist low attacks. Let's end this, come on, do it. God, just walk there, you fucking piece of shit. There we go. These are the power and pop-up attacks of Drunken Fist. Garbage. Next you will learn Drunken Fist basic combos. <laughs> They're all pretty basic. Square, square, square. X, X, X. X, triangle. Now that you have learned the basic combos, we'll move on to Drunken Fist Advanced Combos. Yeah, you know, he's just so slow to move in this style, it's so annoying. He is drunk, I guess, and that makes sense, but... It's just really awkward to play in this fighting style. I'm not a fan of it at all. Oh yeah, here we go, Jojutsu. The last of your high attack training will cover the fighting style of Jojutsu. Okay. So this is what I tend to... You know, this style, Jojutsu. This is what I tend to use when I play as Bo-Rai Cho for the fights. The Jojutsu basic low attacks will also aid you later in your journeys. Correct! Correct! Finally, Jojutsu has its own power and pop-up attack. <laughs> I just chained them all there. There are basic combos within the Jojutsu fighting style as well. Let's do that. I never do any of these combos. I always do the advanced combo, which I believe we learn now. Actually, I don't even think the game shows you how to do the combo, which I do all the time. Finally, Jujutsu Advanced Combos. No, nope, that's not it. I never do that. Oh yeah, this is the combo I always use. You know, it does the most hits and the most damage. I just fucking spam that combo whenever I play as Burai Cho. It's my go-to combo. This combo changes from one fighting style to another. Yep. Good, now try this style branching combo. Ugh. Garbage. There's just not enough hits. Finally, show me that you can handle this last style branching combo. Oh yeah, I tend to use this one. Because, you know, you start off the fight in the sumo style, and then to get straight to the jujutsu fighting style, I always do that combo. As opposed to, you know, just pressing L1 to cycle through my styles. Special moves can change the tide of battle. Let us see how well you learn this one. I hate all of Bo Rai Cho's special moves. Correct. They're just... I don't even know how to describe them. Well done, now try this one. 
That one is practical. That special move, but... I don't know, it just doesn't seem to suit him. Impressive, let us move to another special move. Oh no, this is the worst. Look at that, that is fucking disgusting. He can just bath on Q. Who can do that? Fuck, at least, you know, look at the bottle on his back. Throw the fucking wine on the ground or something. Barfing, it's disgusting. You are learning quickly, but you still have one left to master. Yep, sumo stomp. Earthquake. Ah, very good. Okay, so we're coming up to the end of the training now. Our lessons here. This is the last part, I believe. You have learned my special attacks, but can you execute them while I attack you? Yeah, so you have to do all these special moves while while you're getting attacked. Come on. There we go. Do the bar. Stomp. Billy bash. Yeah. Disgusting. Okay, I think that should do it. Yep, we're done. Oh no, hang on. I have taught you much, Shujinko, but for your final test you must fight me. Oh, that's right, you have to win a round. So, let me just check that combo. Yeah, see the last one there? Whenever I start off in the sumo fighting style, I always do that last combo to get into the jojutsu fighting style, and then I just spam the fuck out of that combo with his walking stick. So let's do this. Square, triangle, L1, X, L1. Oops. Oh, jeez, no. There we go. And now triangle, circle, circle, up X. It's got pretty decent reach as well. See? That's all I do, I just fucking spam it. Because I'm just not interested in learning anything else with this character. And there we go, we're done. And look at this, Shujinko has aged. Shujinko trained with Master Borai Cho, learning the combat skills he would need later in life. Five years passed before Borai Cho felt convinced Shujinko was ready to venture on his own. So this is cool. You'll see that Shujinko has aged in the game. Watch. Congratulations, Shujinko. You have completed your training. It has always amazed me how quickly you learn. You have excelled far beyond my other students these past five years. It is as if you have been granted a gift by the Elder Gods themselves. <laughs> I'm grateful for your kind words, Master. And I am grateful for all that you have taught me. You have learned much as my pupil, but my training can only take you so far. Experience is the ultimate teacher. To further your training, you must venture into the world. Through your journeys in this realm and others, you will attain enlightenment. May I suggest, for your first adventure, that you help me find my warrior's medallion. I seem to have lost it. Very well, Master. I will help search for your medallion. May I ask where you saw it last? I seem to recall having it a few nights ago at the docks. Perhaps you can begin your search there. I will stay here and look around the house. Farewell, Shuchinko, and good luck. Farewell, Master Boraicho. Okay, so look, look at Shujinko. He's wearing different clothes. He looks a little bit older. See, this is really cool about Conquest Mode. As you play through, Shujinko ages. And by the time you finish, he's an old, wise, enlightened man. It's really cool. It's just great. So Borai Cho was just telling us there that we need to try and find his medallion. He's lost it. We won't do that just yet. There's plenty of things we need to do here. Plenty of side missions. Oh, look at this. This is something that really bothers me, okay? Look, look at how much room there is. You're telling me I can't fucking run through that? Look at it. Look at that. The physics sometimes in conquest mode are 
highly questionable. What's stopping me? Is there a fucking weed on the ground? And Shujinko can't step over it? He's just trained for five years with Master Burai Cho, and he's fucking getting stopped by a weed on the ground. Look at this! What a joke. No chance he'll be representing Earthrealm in Mortal Kombat if he can't even step on a fucking weed. Okay, so let's collect all these loose coins. Yeah, like, look at this. Come on. You know, it tends to make navigating through these tree stumps very annoying. You need to sort of learn where you can and can't go. It just takes practice. Okay, Sindil is usually here. But she must come out at a different time. So, I'm going to go... So this is where we are at the moment. Let me bring up the map. See those three huts there? We're at B4. There's a few side missions to get here. Actually, just one. And a couple of fight challenges. From this point on, in conquest mode, we will encounter various combatants of the Mortal Kombat universe. As you can see, there's Cabal. When you press X to talk to them, you will initiate a fight. And if you beat them, under certain conditions, you will be awarded with, you know, a set amount of coins. So, let's talk to Cabal here. Cabal is enraged. Do you wish to beat him into submission? Okay. So let's see what the conditions are for this fight. Each fight is unique. Some are absolutely horrendous. Some are very easy. So, okay, this is acceptable. Defeat Cabal in 30 seconds. This is really easy. I should be able to do this. I'll do what I always do. Love that combo. Why not do a special move or two? Ooh, breaker. Okay. Ooh! Fuck! Shit, I've only got 10 seconds. Ah! Come on. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Hopefully it's only one round. Yeah, good. Most of them only go for one round, but some go for the full two rounds. So I got 300 platinum coins there. And there you go. That is our first fight challenge successfully completed. There's plenty more to come. And Sindel should be here. I'm not sure exactly what time she comes out at, so I'm just going to meditate here for a little bit. Okay, it appears to be 7am, 7.30am or so. So let's talk to her. I think this is a fight challenge with absolutely horrific conditions. I think you're losing health and you start with low health as well. It is completely unacceptable. Watch. Yeah, look, Sindel is draining your life essence. Will you resist her? Now, you don't have to do this, okay? You don't have to do the fight challenges. You don't even have to do the side missions. I'm only going to give these fight challenges a few attempts. And if I can't do it, I'm just going to move on. Because, like I said, some of them are just absolutely unacceptable. Look at this. Defeat Sindel while starting with 50% health and you're bleeding to death. So you only start with half your health and to top it off, you're losing health as well. How can you do that? You have to kill her very quickly and you can't get hit at all, basically. Okay, that's it. It's over. I got hit. You know what I mean? See? It's a okay, I'm in drunken... Look at this. You know... Some of these fight challenges are just very, very unforgiving. I'll give it two more tries, and if I can't do it, then I don't give a shit. Ooh. No, that's it. I'm dead. That's it. Yep. <laughs> Look how quick that was! <laughs> oh, man. What were they thinking? Oh god, a throw, that's just gonna take up too much time. Oh, if 
I can... Oh, no. Oh, my God, I could possibly... Oh, my God, I did it! Holy shit. That was fucking lucky. See what I mean? You have to get very lucky, and you have to just keep hitting her. Basically, if you take a hit or two, you're done, you know? So that was... That actually wasn't too bad, but my goodness. You wait until we get to Nether Realm, and we meet Shang Tsung. <sighs> Talk about unacceptable. That is just... Words are not enough in describing that fighting challenge. You have no idea. No fucking idea whatsoever. That'll be a surprise. Okay, I mean, it's not dark yet, but I'm just going to go ahead and loot the houses. Whenever I encounter an area of huts like this, you know, little houses, I think I'm just going to go in all of them and loot them. This door is locked. Yeah, it's always locked. Okay, so there's another side mission to get here. Talk to this guy. Hey, you want to help me pull a practical joke on my uncle? He is the old man standing by that shack to the north. My uncle is a very nervous person, so it can be a great deal of fun to sneak up on him and scare him. If you are able to put a good fright into him, I shall happily pay you. Scare the old man for his nephew's entertainment. <laughs> Alright, so what we need to do here is you have to walk. Just very lightly hold the D-pad, or sorry, the analog stick, up to walk, because if you run, the old man will hear you. Ah! Who... who's there? Come on, speak up! This is a nasty thing to do to a tired old man! It is indeed, but not as nasty as what we're gonna do. Ooh, okay, look at this! See how Motaro just appeared? Now you've only got one hour between 10 and 11 a.m. Here, take this. And he gives you 1,000 ruby coins. So, between 10 and 11 a.m., Motaro appears right here next to this hut at B5. And when you talk to him, he'll give you 1,000 red coins, which is awesome. Okay, let's talk to this guy to complete the quest. <laughs> that was great. Do it again, and this time I will pay you double. We'll see about that. Okay, so we've got to do it again. Remember, just very lightly hold the analog stick up to walk. And when you get behind him, press X. Oh dear. Shujinko, what have you done? You have once again killed another innocent person. This isn't looking good. Let's see what his nephew has to say. Leave me be, murderer! <laughs> well, you told me to do this, you idiot. This was your idea. If anyone's the murderer, it's you. Fuck. Can we revive him? Can I press X? Nothing. He's dead. That's it. Like, look at him. There's no repercussions whatsoever. Like, Shujinko can just kill anyone he wants. Look, he can just punch anyone he wants. He can do whatever he wants. And nothing happens. You know, he could probably just, like, pick up this barrel here, throw it in the fire, and then throw it onto all these huts and just set all the huts alight and run off and nothing will happen. You know, he'll still be considered an Earthrealm warrior needed to represent Earthrealm in Mortal Kombat. Okay, so as you can see on the map, there's where our mission is, the green circle. Not going to do it just yet because there's plenty more side missions to complete. So I'm going to run over here. Is there any chests here or coins? Okay, so this is where we are at C6. This is where it is on the map. And the first guy you're going to want to talk to is this guy in the straw hat looking real paranoid. So you are the Shujinko Master Boraicho has spoken of so proudly. 
Perhaps you can solve a mystery for me. I have recently noticed strange noises coming from the dwelling south of here. It sounds as though combat is taking place, yet we know of no warriors but Boraicho in our little community. Discover what is happening in the hut to the south. So, the hut to the south is the one pretty much to the opposite hut which he is standing in front of. So, let's go inside. Oh no! Someone has caught me! There you go, it looked like Scorpion, didn't it? And he drops a note there, and it says, Shirai Ryu message, we will pose as worshippers of Raiden, no one will suspect. So, now that you've got that message, take it back to the guy in the straw hat, looking real paranoid. Were you able to find out what was happening in that hut to the south? It was strange. There was a man inside, and when he saw me, he disappeared in a puff of smoke. He left a note behind mentioning something about a guild of assassins near the Shaolin Monastery. Assassins? They probably know we have been inquiring about the goings-on in that hut. I must leave this area as soon as possible, and recommend you do the same. Okay, so he just runs off. He doesn't give you a reward. <laughs> look, at, look at the way he runs. Look at him. <laughs> uh, I'd follow him, but all it needs now is just some Benny Hill music <laughs> to complete that picture. Okay, so that side mission is complete. You get nothing. Now... <sighs> Fucking hell. What the hell? Yeah, all these huts along here are locked. You can't go inside them just yet. But later on, I'll tell you how to open them and loot them. All right, let's talk to these two ladies here. They'll give us a side mission. My friend and I were wondering why such a formidable warrior as Master Bo Raicho has never fought in a Mortal Kombat tournament. As you know the Master well, could you find out for us? We will gladly reward you for your trouble. Discover why Bo Raicho refuses to participate in the Mortal Kombat tournament. Okay, we can't complete that one just yet. We'll do it later. And there's a guy walking along the riverbank here. This guy here, see how he's got the red beads around his neck? Sort of like a Kuma from Street Fighter. Talk to him. Please, you must help me. I have lost the ring I was planning to give to my beloved. I am fairly sure that I had last had it somewhere along this riverbank. I would be grateful if you were to aid me in my search. Find the man's lost promise ring. That's an easy one, we'll do that in just a minute. Now, see this old lady standing outside the front of this hut at D4? Talk to her. She won't give you a quest, but she will give you some information which is quite important. So talk to her. Young man, you had best be careful. For the last few nights I have heard someone trying to open the door of my house. Who would have thought that our peaceful community would become home to a burglar? Okay, so she's saying there's a burglar trying to get inside her house. As you can see, her door is locked. We can't get in there. Now, at about 9pm, which is going to be happening pretty soon, you'll see the burglar start creeping along this path and make his way to the old lady's hut. So, since it's coming up pretty soon, we might as well just stand here and wait. Where are you? You burglar fuck. Okay, here we go, it's 9pm. See, there he is, he comes out of the trees, look at him. And he starts creeping along, and he'll make his way to the old woman's hut. Now, don't talk to this guy, because if you do, he'll run away in a panic, and it's very hard to reach him again. So what you need to do is punch him. Oh, fucking come on. The hell would he go? What happened? He went over there. How fucking quick was that? Alright. Punch him out and he will drop something very important. It is lockpick tools. Tool that can be used to unlock doors. So now that we have that, we can go ahead and open all these huts and loot them. Can I talk to this guy? Now that I've punched him? Nah. Once you punch him, that's it. Alright, so let's go ahead and loot all the huts along the riverbank here since it's dark 
and everyone has pretty much gone inside. Nice, 150 Onyx coins. We're getting quite a few coins now. 75, that's pretty decent. Hundred and sixty. Alright, and just one more to go because in that last hut, remember, we already went inside. And there was just a member of the Shirai Ryu. It wasn't Scorpion. Just one of his clan members. Okay, so we've gone inside all of the huts along the riverbank. Let's go over here. To these two huts and loot them might as well while we're here just to get it out of the way and behind this hut there will be a chest which I believe contains scorpions alternate bio yep who gives a fuck and we'll go inside this hut here this hut is actually it actually belongs to Wen, the Elder. We'll talk to him a bit later. Okay, so, look at this area. Heaps of tree stumps here, okay? On the map, this is what it looks like. Look at it. It's just a clusterfuck of brown specks on the map. This is where that guy lost his ring. As you can see, there it is. Oh, look at that! Come on, look at how much room... What is stopping him? Tell me. Tell me. The ground is flat. Look at this. I remember once I went all the way inside the middle of those tree stumps and it took me no joke, like fucking 10 minutes to get out because I just didn't know where I could and couldn't run. You know, I kept getting stopped like this. It was absolutely infuriating. Alright, let's try... Oh my god, and of course... <laughs> Look at this! I can run past it, running over the edge of this tree stump here, look, on the ground, but I can't pass through open ground, flat grass. What a joke. Okay, I can't go that way. <sighs> the physics blow my mind. I'm not even going to run in the middle of those tree stumps. There's probably a chest or a coin hidden in there somewhere, but I'm not dealing with it. 300 gold coins and there's another fight challenge here Darius I believe he's here starting from 10 p.m. at night let's talk to him Darius has brought the resistance to earth realm will you put him in his place yep I think this is a relatively easy fight challenge from memory I don't think I can block I'm gonna guess let's have a look yeah defeat Darius you cannot block Wrong. Okay, this isn't too bad. Okay, this is a good start. Remember, you have to defeat him in two rounds of combat. You can still do breakers, though. Even though you can't block, you can do breakers. Like so. Get out. Boracho wins. Belly flop. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh no. Oh. Fuck. All right, let's get the weapon out. Jojutsu. Come on. No bullshit now. We're just spamming the jojutsu combo. He sidestepped. Oh god, what am I doing? I don't know. Yes, there we go. A bit of panic there, but I got through it. 350 green coins, I'll take that. Wow, so I've completed all the fight challenges so far. Let's try and make this happen. Let's try and complete all of them in the game. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Let's not. Trust me. In the Nether Realm, like I said, the Shang Tsung Fight Challenge, absolutely horrendous. There are no words which can explain that fight challenge. It must simply be seen. Okay, so are we getting to daytime soon? Yeah, 5.36am. Good. Got a chest in here. 300 jade coins. Okay, so this is the notable zigzag bridge. The white zigzag bridge. It's referenced quite a lot in walkthrough guides, so just take note of its location. So at 7 a.m., a guy comes out of this temple, this pagoda, whatever it is. His name is Master Shen. He gives us a side mission, so I'll wait for him to come out. It's almost 7 a.m. And here he comes, right on cue. Let's talk to him. Good day, Shujinko. I am Master Shen. Hmm. As I have not met you before, how do you know who I am? Your selection by Master Bo Raicho brought you to our attention. If he is able to trust you with the secrets of combat, no doubt we can share with you the knowledge of the White Lotus. What exactly is this White Lotus? It is a secret society of mortals, created by the Thunder God, Raiden. The White Lotus serves many purposes, but paramount among them is the defense of Earthrealm from outside invaders. The Emperor of Outworld, a world beyond this one, has been attempting to gain control of our realm for millennia. Every 50 years, a great tournament of mortal combat is held between the champions of Earthrealm and Outworld. Should we ever lose 10 consecutive tournaments to the forces of Outworld, our realm will be forfeit. If you wish to be initiated into the White Lotus and aid in the protection of Earthrealm, you must first see Wen the Elder. He lives nearby. Gain membership in the White Lotus Society. Now we can't actually complete this side mission until much, much, much later in the game, but let's go ahead and talk to Wen the Elder. This is him right here. Ah, I see you have spoken with Master Shen. I am Wen, known to many as the Elder. Yes, Master Shen spoke of my joining the White Lotus. I am very interested in doing so. I want to do my part to protect Earthrealm. Though you clearly have potential, not just anyone may compete in a tournament in which Earthrealm's survival hangs in the balance. What Shen may not have told you is that Earthrealm has already lost the previous nine tournaments of Mortal Kombat, and that our fate, the fate of our very world, rests in whomever we select as champion. Return to me when you feel you have mastered the art of combat, and you will be considered for the task of representing the White Lotus in the tournament. Okay, so like I said, we can't actually complete that side mission until much, much later in the game. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give the ring back to this guy. You found it? I cannot thank you enough. Here, please take this reward. I would give you more, but I spent all my money on this ring. Awesome, 500 ruby coins. Now, some more side missions to complete. Let's go ahead and do it. You can tackle them in really any order you want to. This is just my preferred way of doing it. You know, whatever's closest to me, that's what I tend to do. Let's go up here. There's a chest. Whoop. Get up the ramp, Shijinko. Some coins. Later on, when we're basically about to leave Earthrealm, if you come here, there'll be another chest. I believe it's from... Oh god, I can't remember. 3 a.m. in the morning or something. I don't know, it's pretty much when it's dark. There'll be another chest right here, and it will contain Kenshi the Puzzle Fighter. So we'll do that much later. Guy's carrying a spear. Fisherman. Okay, let's go ahead and 
loot this temple. <laughs> it just kills me, you know. He had a conversation with Master Shen and Wen the Elder about wanting to join the White Lotus Society. You'd think a prerequisite for joining the White Lotus Society is to have morals, to be a good human being. But Shujinko is a fucking disgrace. Robbing temples, killing innocent people. His soul is already tainted. He's corrupt. And actually, that's interesting because in the next realm, the nether realm, <laughs> it's funny because you can't actually enter that realm unless your soul has a stain of corruption on it. And you have to actually do something to get that stain of corruption. But in my eyes, Shujinko already has that stain of corruption. <laughs> Don't you agree? Uh, anyway, let's talk to this guy. He'll give us a side mission. Good day to you, sir. I'm part of a United Nations task force assembled to investigate strange stone circles like the one east of here. According to local mythology, the strange circular stones were placed there eons ago by the gods. Should you ever discover anything about them, do come and speak with me. Seek out the purpose of the great stone circle that lies to the east. Fuck, can I have that submachine gun you've got there? Look at that thing. That would be nice to carry one of those around. Unfortunately, you can't get that gun. I'm not even going to dare try and punch this guy because... I don't know, I'm afraid he'll shoot me. Probably nothing will happen, but... I'm not going to risk it. <laughs> Looks like he's got heaps of grenades on his belt as well. Or is that just ammo clips? Probably just ammo. Okay, so the great stones that he's talking about is pretty much this here. This is where it is on the map. Basically all it is is just a portal. You'll learn about where it takes you. As we progress through, there's a chest here. Yeah, you'll learn about what it does as we progress through the game through conquest mode. Might as well just loot this area of all the coins. And if there's any more chests... Yep, there's one here. What the hell? 250 ruby coins. I just made a chest opening sound before I even opened that chest. Must be glitching, who the fuck knows. Oh no, look at this, come on! God, it must be that strong weed that Shujinko can't step over. You know, God forbid the weed. That should be his opponent. You know, if he fights in the Mortal Kombat tournament against Outworld, fuck, put him up against the weed. That's it, the whole of Earthrealm is lost to a fucking weed. Forget about, you know, combatants like Scorpion and whatever. Reptile. Just put Shujinko against a weed and he is toast. If only Shang Tsung and Shao Kahn knew of his weakness. Okay, so we're on the beach at the moment, right up in the top right hand corner of the screen at point H2. Let's go in here. There'll be a coin. And in the second hut on this side of the beach, this one right here, this is actually where you unlock Kira. Okay, she'll be in this chest. There she is. I think it's only at a certain time as well, so if it's not there, just meditate for a bit and it should appear there. Alright, and at 7pm, Ken, oh sorry, not Ken from Street Fighter, Cobra will walk out of this hut and stand on the beach with his arms folded and he is another fight challenge. So since we're close to 7pm we might as well wait for him to come out. Hadouken! Shoryuken! God. Who came up with this character for a Mortal Kombat game? Look at him! Stands there with his arms folded. Fuck you. 
Okay, so you're probably going to want to do this fight challenge because if you complete it... Actually, no, you're probably not going to want to anyway. Because, I mean, who actually cares about this character? But look, in all seriousness, if you defeat him in the fight challenge, you will not only unlock a set amount of coins, but his alternate costume. So let's do it. Two serpents facing each other in combat. Will you accept this challenge? Reluctantly, I will. Okay, what's the criteria for this one? Oh no, I'm bleeding to death. But at least I'm on full health. So that's not too bad. And I think it's just one round of... Oh god, that's a bad start. I think it's just one round of combat as well. Shit. Come on, just spam that Jujutsu style combo. Do it. Come on. Oh dear. Nah, I'm dead. Fuck. It was close though. I screwed up at the start. That's okay. Let's try again. God damn it. You know, I find that if you spam the same move or the same combo over and over again, the AI tends to get very smart in regards to that and it will... See how it's just constantly blocking now? So you really do have to mix it up, otherwise... Yeah. Otherwise you'll just get fucking destroyed. If this takes me more than three tries... It's gonna be fucked. Okay, good start. Yes. Yes, let's throw. Oh! Special move. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, there we go. Done. So there you go, 350 platinum coins. And, wait for it. We'll get his alternate costume. There you go. Coffin IP unlocks Cobra's alternate costume. Look at that costume. What's so great about it? He's just got a hoodie jacket on. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, so we've completed that. Let's continue on. We'll go get some more side missions. Remember this one we can't complete just yet. That's not until much later in the game. Let's see if we can find any coins or chests hidden amongst these trees. The game loves hiding coins and chests in amongst the trees because the game knows you're going to go looking for them. And it knows that this is exactly what's going to happen. You're going to get fucking stuck and it's just going to laugh at you, you know, like, yeah, he got stuck by a weed. Fuck you, game. I saw a chest there. This, I believe, is Melina's alternate bio. So let's get that. Amazing. Wow. I don't even know what that is. Alternate bios. I've never even actually looked at them. I just don't care. Okay, now in these trees, there should be Kira. I just saw her. But I'm just going to have a look around for any more coins. Nothing. Okay, there she is. I think she comes out at 7pm at night. I'm not sure, but she's always in this location. At E6, in the middle of these trees. Let's talk to her. Kira has laced her blade with poison. Do you accept this challenge? Okay. I think this is an acceptable fight challenge from memory. I don't recall having too many problems with Kira. Oh, it's just before you bleed to death again. Okay, pretty much like the Cobra one. Alright, let's do that. Easy. Oh, don't fucking block, bitch. What the hell? Come on. Just take the fucking stick to the face like that. There you go. Done. 
Is it one round or two rounds? One, even easier. Fucking awesome. I am plowing through these fight challenges. But remember, three words Netherrealm Shang Sung. You will be scarred like I was. Okay, so there'll be a couple more side missions to collect here. Look at these people, they're still standing outside the front of their houses. And it's like almost 1am in the morning. What are they doing? Now behind this little hut here at F7, there will be a chest here, pretty much right where I'm standing, but it's only between 7 and 9pm. And from memory that contains Melina's alternate costume. I'll go ahead and get that a bit later, if I can remember. But first, talk to this lady here. She'll give us a side mission. Please, sir, I beg your aid. My father's sword was all I had left of him. Now it is missing. If you find it, please return it to me. Find her father's lost sword. Easy. And if we go over here and talk to this guy, he'll give us a side mission. Could you deliver this package for me? I need to get it to the young woman in the far southwest village. Simply follow the road to get there. Deliver this mysterious package to his customer. Let's have a look at it. I love how it says contents unknown and contents is spelt with a K. That's perfect. I wouldn't have it any other way. Okay, you can't actually go inside these little huts, these houses. The doors seem to be... I don't know, it's like there is no door. Maybe that's why they can't get inside their own house. I can't even go inside. Like, It's just a wall painted black to look like a door. So unfortunately you can't go inside those ones. Okay, let's go ahead and complete those two side missions now. Find her father's missing sword and deliver... what the hell? Oh, that was some ducks. Fuck, I thought there was a shark in the water there. <laughs> Scared me for a second. Yeah, so we'll complete these two side missions. The lost sword is very easy to find. It's pretty much right here. But see, the thing is... look. If you get a side mission, okay, and you run straight to the location of where the actual item is to collect, whether it be a ring or a sword or whatever, sometimes it won't appear there until a certain amount of time has passed. So if you're looking at a guide, you know, and it says go to location D7 and find the sword amongst some trees, don't panic if it's not there because it does take a little while for it to actually appear. Okay, so in the meantime you can either just meditate or run around and do shit. So there you go, see, D7, bang, there's the sword, let's have a look at it. Lost sword, an ornate weapon, someone is searching for this, yep. We'll go back and deliver it to her in just a minute. There's a few houses here to loot, we can actually go inside these ones. So let's do that while we're here. Go inside this one. Now, this hut right here, the one I just went inside, see this lady here that comes out? Just watch her as she stands outside the front. See all these other people, they're just standing there calmly. You know, they're just not doing anything, just staring at the fire. Well, if you look at this lady, see how she's looking around, sort of... I wouldn't really say she looks paranoid, but she's just cautiously observing her surroundings. Take note of this woman, because we will have to come back to her later to complete a side quest. We don't get that side quest until a bit later on. Okay, let's go inside this house. 
and steal the money. 75 platinum coins. Where did those people go? They were just standing around the fire, staring at it. Like, what do these people do all day? Look at them. It's like their, their life is such strict routine. At 7am, on the fucking dot, they walk outside the front of their house and stand there, staring. I mean, look at this guy. It's now 9.45am. He's been standing here for 2 hours and 45 minutes. 3 hours now. And this is all he does all day. Does he eat? Does he go to the toilet? Do any of them do anything? What is the purpose of their lives? Like, this is this really baffles me. I want to know. I need to get to the bottom of this. Like, look, look at it. Look at him. What does he say? I want to talk to this guy. May the thunder god bless you. That's it. What about this guy? May Raiden watch over you. Oh, okay. I know what's going on here. Look at this. Remember this message we got? Shirai Ryu message. We will pose as worshippers of Raiden. No one will suspect. Well, these people are posing as worshippers of Raiden. So I suspect that they are members of the Shirai Ryu. And in fact, this woman here is. Remember, I told you to keep an eye on this woman. We'll need to come back to her a bit later. Okay, I like talking to these guys. Let's have a chat. We must always be on guard. Oh, okay, nothing interesting. I thought that was a monk, actually. That was just a guard. The monks always have wise things to say. Okay, so let's deliver the package in which the contents are unknown. We give it to this lady here in the straw hat. I see you have a package from Lo. But wait, this package contains purple lotus petals, not those of the black lotus. These are not anywhere near as potent. I suppose beggars cannot be choosers. Please give these earrings to lowest payment. That is indeed correct. Beggars cannot be choosers. Earrings. So, we now have the lost sword and earrings. So we'll go back and complete those two side missions. I hope I haven't forgot anything in terms of side missions or fight challenges. You know, like I mentioned in the first video, it just really pisses me off how the game doesn't keep track of the side missions you've collected and completed. I mean, if I bring up the inventory screen, there's nothing to indicate what side missions I've got. Even if I bring up the map screen, nothing. You know, so you have to basically remember. That's bullshit. But anyway, we'll go ahead and give this sword back to the lady over here. I cannot believe you were able to find my father's sword. Take these coins as a reward. 500 onyx coins, awesome. And we'll go over to this guy here and give him the earrings. Ah, my customer has sent earrings as payment. Here are some coins for a job well done. 400 sapphire coins, okay. Now, look at this, if you go over here, this is like uh, all the Lin Kuei. It's like their headquarters or some shit where they train people, initiates. Look at them. That's great. We actually come here a bit later on as one of the main missions. You know, a green circle appears down here on the map, but we don't go here just yet. They won't accept you. Like, if you talk to this guy here now, listen to what he says. You are not worthy of the Ling Kuei. Only skilled warriors may join our ranks. Leave here now. See? So, apparently you're not skilled enough to be trained by the Lin Kuei, and that's fair enough. We need to prove ourselves, and to do that, we need to actually acquire Bo Rai Cho's medallion. So when you get his medallion, don't take it back to him. You actually need to come back here and train with the Lin Kuei, and Sub-Zero trains you. That's awesome. So we learn all of Sub-Zero's moves, combos, his fighting styles, 
and every fight we get into from that point on, we use him as opposed to Borai Cho. Thank fuck. Now as I run along here aimlessly, I'm just trying to remember if there's any more bullshit to complete in terms of side missions or fight challenges. This one here, remember we got this side mission from these ladies, they want to know why Bo Rai Cho won't compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament. We can't do that just yet. So I think we're good to go. I think we can go ahead and go to the main mission now, over here. This must be the dock that Master Boraicho mentioned. I should ask if anyone here knows what happened to the medallion. Yep. So we'll do that in just a second, but first there's a chest over here containing Baraka's alternate bio. There you go, amazing. And we'll loot the houses, the beach huts, while we're here. Fifty blue coins. Okay, so what we need to do is talk to this old guy standing hunched over on the wharf. He will tell us what happened to Master Borai Cho's medallion. Excuse me, but have you seen Master Borai Cho's warrior's medallion? He says he last remembers having it somewhere around here. Oh yes, he left it here a few nights ago when we were drinking Outworld wine on the dock. I put it in my water house for safekeeping, but some brigands attacked me and stole the tackle box in which I kept my key. Attacking an unarmed fisherman? What cowards. Indeed. Now I am locked out, and I cannot retrieve the medallion for you. Is there anything I can do to help? If you could get my key back from the brigands, I could get you the medallion. They usually do not stray far from the beach. I will return with your key, fisherman, and these brigands will know the fist of Shujinko. I thank you, young man. Uh, who is Shujinko? <laughs> I am Shujinko. This door is locked, yep, so we need to get his key. Question mark, good, that didn't kill me. Okay, so what we need to do is talk to that guy in the middle there. He has taken the old guy's key. So we have to get it back, but first let me just loot the surrounding area of coins and go inside the huts alright one more hut to go inside is there anything behind this one? no ooh a musical note dark prison music who cares okay so Talk to the guy in the middle with the green aura surrounding him. Would you happen to have seen the old fisherman's tackle box? That old fossil? Perhaps he should keep a tighter hold on his possessions. Wait, do you admit to taking it? What business is it of yours? The only way he will get his tackle box back is if he can take it back. He is much too old and weak to do that. Keep to your own affairs and you will live a lot longer. Fuck you. Punch him out and there you go, you get the key. Fisherman's key. This key was stolen from a fisherman. So we'll go back in just a second and give it to him. But first, there is a few things to collect. Maybe only one thing. There's this video here. Kwa Chuan video. Whatever. Nothing else. Alright, let's go back to the fisherman. And return his key. And get Master Bo Rai Cho's medallion. Remember, we do not return it to him once we have collected it, because we need it in order for the Lin Kuei to train us. And in a minute we'll get a cutscene with Damashi, where he basically tells us to hold on to it. I have returned with your key. The brigands will not likely harass you further. Splendid, young man. Come inside and you will find the medallion. Alright, so go inside now. And there you go, we got the medallion. Thank you, young man. When you see Bo Raicho, tell him I will drink him under the table when next we meet. <laughs> <laughs> I like that fisherman. 
Okay, so as we make our way off the beach, we will be approached by Damashi, who pretty much tells us to hold on to the warrior's medallion, like I said. Greetings, Shichinko. It has been five years since you began your quest for the Kamidou. Have you made any progress? I am afraid not, Damashi. But I have learned Master Boraicho's fighting styles, and I have recovered his lost warrior's medallion. I was on my way to return it to him. I see. That is quite an impressive artifact. I suggest you keep the medallion for yourself. Do not return it to Boraicho just yet. Such an item will give you credibility among master warriors. I will do as you ask. Good. Very good. I must leave you now. But you will see me again. Good luck on your journey. Alright, so... Damashi is telling us not to return the medallion to Borai Cho just yet. So we will follow his orders. Now, I forgot to actually do something while I was down over at these huts. I mean, we're pretty much going in the same direction anyway, so it's no big deal. But there is another fight challenge. Remember this old guy here at this hut? We got a side mission off him. If you go around him, you will find there is a bridge here with Jax guarding the bridge. We cannot cross the bridge until we take care of Jax, so let's do it. The only thing standing between you and the White Lotus Society is Jax. Will you challenge him? Yes, we will. Now for this fight challenge, I believe all you can do is throws. Throws are the only things that will damage Jax. Yeah, look, only throws will damage him. Round one. Which is quite bullshit. Fight. Now, initially, this can be extremely annoying if you don't know how it works. Basically, the AI has a pattern. If you just keep mashing R1, you will lose. What you need to do is attempt to throw. If you fail, sidestep. So, throw. Fail, sidestep, throw. That's it. Throw. Got him. Oh, I'm getting lucky here. I'm just walking up and throwing. Throw, sidestep. Throw. Whoops. Throw, sidestep. Throw, sidestep. Throw. See? Basically, what's happening is when you do a failed throw attempt, the AI will try to counter with a hit, and you will sidestep that hit and then throw them. Throw, missed. Throw, got him. Throw, miss, sidestep. Ooh. Throw, sidestep. Throw. Oh, fuck this. Ooh, got lucky there. See what I mean? I sidestepped his attack and then I threw him and got him. Ooh, he got me there. Fuck, that's bullshit. There we go, see? Very easy once you know how to exploit the AI like this. Sometimes he still hits me anyway. Fucking bullshit. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I'm gonna lose this fucking round. It just... It's tedious, you know? It's... Oh, goodness me. It's easy, but it's just... It's boring and it's fucking tedious. It feels like it goes on for quite a while. Just fucking die. Oh god, I missed. Ooh, got lucky there. I need a bit of luck to get through this. Ooh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Alright, one more throw and that should do it. There we go. And now we can cross the bridge. And there will be a chest 
pretty much right across the bridge but it only appears there at 3 a.m. until 7 a.m. and inside that chest is a stage so we'll get that in just a minute I believe it's the Liu Kang Liu Kang's tomb stage from memory so it's almost 3 a.m. might as well just run up here first and see if there's anything to do coin we can't go in here only those who have proven themselves worthy may approach this shrine yep so we can't go in there just yet that's not until much later on in the game and of course they punch you out a simple please leave the area would have been sufficient but no they had to punch me so here you go like I said across the bridge at 3 a.m until 7 a.m. a chest will appear and it's Liu Kang's tomb the stage awesome okay and now we can finally go into the Lin Kuei headquarters here and speak with that guy who initially refused to take us in let's talk to him now stop infidel only great warriors are allowed to enter the Lin Kuei Temple. I am a great warrior. I have been personally trained by Master Baraicho and have been awarded the Warrior's Medallion to prove it. Warrior's Medallion? You are truly worthy of the Lin Kuei. We could use a warrior with your ability. Step inside and you will be trained to fight as a Lin Kuei. Your teacher will be none other than Sub-Zero himself. Awesome, Sub-Zero. So this is where we learn everything about how to play as Sub-Zero. Sub -Zero. Greetings Initiate, I am Sub-Zero, your instructor. Your Lin Kuei training begins with Shotokan basic high attacks. Let's do it. Thank God we're not playing as him in that absolutely fucking unspeakable second outfit. You have graduated to low attacks. Begin with these Shotokan basic low attacks. Yeah, we're just playing as him in this uh, Shredder outfit, which is still slightly unacceptable, but it's okay. I can deal with it. Lin Kuei are defined by their strength. Learn the Shotokan power and pop-up attacks. <laughs> Chain that into a two-hit combo there. You have learned much, but you are only halfway through your training. You will now master Shotokan basic combos. I like that combo. Sub-Zero's combos are really nice. He's one of my favorite characters in this game. I just wish they gave him some decent outfit. Excellent, you have mastered the Lin Kuei basic combos. Let us see how you fare with more advanced Shotokan combos. Oh, I love this combo, that's a great one. Square, square, X, forward, X. <laughs> that kick. Look at that, I love it. Alright, there we go. So that's it for the Shotokan style. We'll now fight in the Dragon style. Now for the basic high attacks of the Dragon fighting style. Excellent work. Excellent work. Now for Dragon basic low attacks. I don't think I ever do low attacks on their own like that, unless they're in a combo. Next learn these Dragon power and pop up attacks. Oops. Oh, I love that kick, that's great. Up and circle, great kick. Uppercut. Well done, now for Dragon Basic Combos. There we well go. Done. Not bad initiate, now try Dragon Advanced Combos. This is a great combo. 
just that kick to finish it off. I love it. Awesome. And now we'll move on to his weapon. The Cory Blade high attacks are difficult, but you must learn them to further your training. He doesn't really have many combos in his weapon fighting style. I think it's only basically one combo, square, back, square, that's it. But you can chain like, you know, you can do a pop up and then do an air juggle. Excellent, finally the Cory Blade basic low attacks. Done. Finally, you will learn Cory Blade power and pop up attacks. Yeah, back triangle, that's a great move. I think the game will actually show us how to do that juggle combo. Finally, Shem, you can handle Cory Blade basic combos. Yeah, see, that's the only combo you can do in his weapon fighting style, but now. Yeah, here we go. Next you'll master Cory Blade Advanced Combos. Watch. So you do back triangle, then square back hooks. Let's try it again. So it's like an air juggle. A power pop-up attack. You can do it twice. And then square back square. Great little combo. 35% damage. That's nice. That's a fair bit actually. Most impressive. Show me that you can handle style branching combos. <laughs> nice. Now for a different style branching combo. Stabs him into the ground. I like it. Finally, you must complete another Lin Kuei style branching combo. I tend to use that one quite a bit. That's my favourite because it gets me straight into the Cory Blade fighting style from the first fighting style, Shotokan. Now you will learn Lin Kuei trademark fighting moves. This next lesson will teach you special attacks. Let's do this freeze. Standard for Sub-Zero. Can't be Sub-Zero without his freeze move. Well done, now try this one. What the hell? What happened to it? There we go. I tend not to use this move too much because I mean they can just sidestep around it, you know what I mean? It's not as effective as it was in the 2D Mortal Kombat games. This next special attack is not as easy. What are you talking about? This is like the easiest attack to do. Back forward circle. A shoulder dash attack, it's great. A Lin Kuei can perform any of the previous special attacks on command. Attack me with all of them. I will not make it easy for you. Alright. Whoops. Sidestepped it, you bastard. <laughs> I love how Sub-Zero screams. What the fuck is he saying? But there you go, we've just completed our lessons with Sub-Zero and we can now use him. You have finished your training. You are now a Lin Kuei warrior. For your first assignment, the Grand Master has commanded that you join our forces to the west. They have reported finding an unknown artifact that may greatly benefit our clan. We must secure it before our rivals do. Your password is Ice Dragon. Go now. Do not return until you have succeeded in securing the artifact. As you command. <laughs> I love how the password is Ice Dragon. Like, couldn't they come up with something more, you know, something less obvious? Like, I don't know, anything. Like, tree branch or scrambled eggs not ice dragon which is something that's associated with the Lin Kuei you know Sub-Zero himself <laughs> it's a joke that's the worst fucking password I've ever heard in my life okay now that we have completed 
our lessons with Sub-Zero, we can now talk to this guy here, who will give us a side mission. Ah, a fellow member of the Order. Well, Initiate, you may have proven yourself to the Master, but you have hardly proven your loyalty to the rest of us. The Lin Kuei are feared throughout this province for their prowess and stealth. A rival clan of ninja is attempting to secure a foothold here. They must not be allowed to succeed. If you wish to prove your worth to the rest of us, you must find and remove these would-be adversaries from the countryside. Only then will you secure a place among the Lin Kuei, bringing proof of success, if you are able. Find and defeat the Shirai Ryu to prove your loyalty. Now I spoke about the woman in the village of huts just to the left of where I am at the moment. It's probably at what? A, B, C, D, D7, D8, D or E8. We'll go there to complete that side mission in just a minute. But first, there is one more fight challenge left. If you go ahead and punch this Lin Kuei warrior. You dare to strike me? Prepare to defend yourself. Yep, as you can see, it initiates a fight challenge against him. But it's not actually against him, it's against Sub-Zero. I think it's pretty easy from memory. Yeah, that's all you do, just spar with him. It's just basically a fight. Okay, now let's see if I can put these moves to the test. Ooh, bad start. Fuck yeah. Ooh, ooh. Love that combo. Alright, let's do this. Ooh, double freeze. Fuck. Alright. That should finish him off. Oh, come on, you kidding me? There we go. I find the more hits you do in a combo, the less damage it does. Which is fucked. See, look how much... See, that barely did any damage at all, that last hit. Alright, let's do a throw. Okay, maybe not. Come over here. Ooh! Fuck. Get in it. Of course not. Such a shit move. Come here! Give me a fucking throw. There you go. Bang. With the butt of the sword. I love it. And there we go, pretty easy. No special requirements for that fight challenge, just simply win two rounds of combat against Sub-Zero, playing as Sub-Zero. Thank god we don't have to play as Borai Cho anymore. Okay, now, before I forget, I'll just mention it. Behind this rock, at about 6pm, a chest will appear. And it's only there for three hours, I believe, until 9 p.m. That chest contains Sub-Zero's alternate costume. Unlock it at your own discretion. If you want to play as Sub-Zero in his alternate outfit, then go ahead and unlock it. If you do not, ignore it. I'm just going to do it anyway to show you guys, even though that costume disgusts me. Okay, so remember over here, where are we at? E8. So this is where we are on the map. Talk to this lady here who's sort of looking around cautiously. Please join with us and let the love of Lord Raiden fill your heart with joy. Cease this deception. Worshippers of Lord Raiden would not be members of an assassin's guild. So, you have discovered the truth. No matter, you will not live long enough to tell any others. None survive encounters with the Shirai Ryu. Then the Shirai Ryu have not faced a member of the Lin Kuei before. Alright. I love how Shujinko accentuates the word Shirai Ryu. That's great. So what we have to do is defeat Scorpion while starting with 33% health. Now this fight challenge is absolutely fucked. There is no other word for it. It is ap oh. It's a bad, bad fight challenge. It's very unfair. Basically, all you need to do is spam back forward circle, his shoulder dash move. 
that is it. If you try anything else, you will die. Believe me, okay? Believe me. So this may be cheap. It may still take me a few tries. But this is how you do it, okay? <clears throat> Gotta get him in a fucking rhythm. Fuck! I knew it! See, the problem is... This is actually... Oh man. I, I, I despise the fight challenges in this game. Some of them like this just ruin it for me. You know? The first time I did this fight challenge, it must have took me, no joke, like 15 tries. See, you need to get in close to Scorpion, otherwise he will spam the spear. Now, Natural Instinct will probably tell you to do a throw or a combo since he's blocking. Believe me, do not act on that instinct because the AI knows that you will attempt to throw or attack and it will just duck and counter. Believe me, okay? This is the only way to do it. Okay, I've just got to stop talking and focus. Absolute focus is required for this. Because I've got to tap back, forward and circle at the specific moment so that it's just constant. Shoulder dash after shoulder dash, you know, no rest for swapping whatsoever. The moment I fuck up my input, I lose. See how Squawking's going for an attack, but he's missing? It's because I'm really good here at getting the timing down pat for doing back forward circle, you know, his shoulder dash move. It may look cheap, but trust me, this is actually very difficult to do in itself. Alright, absolute focus. 100% focus here. Oh! That was... <gasps> oh! Don't throw the spear. <gasps> God! Okay, he got lucky there. Fuck! Did they make this fight any more un- Oh, I knew it. See, that's why I sidestepped. Like, did they make this fight any more unfair? Why not start off the fucking fight with 1% health? And just make it fucked, like one tap. You know, if Scorpion steps on your pinky toe, then you lose. Like, how much more ridiculous can this get? It's disgusting. It is unacceptable. I'm sorry. It is. Oh man. You've got no idea how much I want to like just do a throw now, but I can't because I know it will miss him. Oh no. Look at that! One combo! One combo and you lose. You know, the AI shouldn't... It should not be allowed to do combos on you for this fight. This is just unfair beyond belief. Look at how much he's blocking! Okay, I just went to do a throw there and that's what happened. Yep. Always when you're a fair distance, he'll be programmed to do the spear. Actually, that might be a good tactic. Uh, no, it's over. I'm fucking up the inputs. Throw the spear. No. Alright, look guys, I'll give it one more attempt. If I don't do it, I'm just going to cut to when I complete it. <sighs> Fuck Wrong. this fight. Alright, one more go. One more try. Throw the spear. Throw it. Throw it. Okay, do that. Throw the spear that. Oh, 
아. 스페이치레스. 스페이치레스. Scorpion just took the words out of my mouth right then. Alright guys, that's it. I will just cut to when I complete it. So I'll see you then. Fuck me. There we go guys, I finally did it. Took me like another 8 tries. What a joke. Fuck that fight. You... you killed them all? You have not heard the last of this. We, Shira Ryu, will return, and we will have our revenge on the Lin Kuei. Yeah, whatever. So she runs off and she drops a mask. Let's have a look at it. Shirai Ryu mask. A member of the Shirai Ryu clan is searching for this dead warrior's mask. So, now we can go back and return it to that guy at the Lin Kuei headquarters and we'll complete that side mission. While we're there, I'll meditate till about 6 p.m. and I will unlock Sub Zero's alternate costume from that chest. Not that I want to, but I'm just going to show you guys how to do it. That alternate costume should be illegal. Okay, so let's talk to him. Here he is. Ah, the master has indeed chosen wisely. You are a true brother of the Lin Kuei, and a true son of the Ice Dragon. Your loyalty is evident. Take this payment as reward for ridding us of those troublesome ninja. 400 sapphire coins, awesome. Alright, so... Let's do a bit of meditation bullshit behind this rock. Until 6pm. And that is when the chest should appear there. There it is, 6.30 I think it appeared. It does take a little bit longer, sometimes. And there you go, Sub-Zero's alternate costume if you want it. And that's how you get it. So, I believe I have completed pretty much all the side quests that I'm able to here. And I've completed all the fight challenges, successfully as well, I might add. Which is quite rare for me, usually I just give up on them. Because they're just fucked. But I've done them all. And now we will head to the main mission. The green circle on the map. Which is just opposite of the temple there. So let's go ahead and do that. And we are basically done. Just about. For the earth realm here. Walk into the green aura. I wonder where I am supposed to meet these Lin Kuei. It must be somewhere right around here. Ah, now, I have just remembered there is actually one side quest which I have not completed yet. Sorry about that, guys. And that is finding out why Master Bo Rai Cho will not compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament. So, first of all, we'll just talk to him and give him back the medallion, because we don't need it anymore. You have found my medallion! Thank you, Shijinko! You performed a good deed without promise of reward. I commend you. Take these coins as an expression of my gratitude. Yep, so he gives some coins in return for the medallion. Talk to him again. And he'll say why he can't compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament. Welcome back, Shijinko. I see that your skills as a combatant continue to grow. Perhaps one day you may even participate in the Mortal Kombat Tournament. Sadly, and though I may greatly desire to, I cannot fight on Earthrealm's behalf, as I am originally from Outworld. Do you wish to review your training, Shijinko? 
If so, step inside my dojo. Oh, and shut you up. Repeat your lessons. Fucking hell. These conversations just tend to drag on. Like, just fucking get to the point already. Cut the bullshit. Alright, so let's meditate until daytime. About 7 a.m. until those women come out. And we will talk to them and complete that side mission. They'll give us some coins. Here they come. Let's quickly talk to her. Ah, Boraicho is originally from Outworld. If he were to enter the tournament, it would be on the side of Outworld. Please, take these coins. Perhaps they can somehow atone for our doubting such a great man. There we go, 400 platinum coins. And now, that is all the side missions complete that I'm able to do so at this point. Let's walk into the cave, see the Lin Kuei warrior there? We have to go talk to him. I saw a coin, let me grab that first. Any more loose coins? Nope, alright, let's head on over to the Lin Kuei warrior. Halt! What is the password? Ice Dragon. Excellent. You must be the courier we had sent for, and a new recruit if I am not mistaken. You are just in time. There are Red Dragon not far from here, and they know we have this item. Take it to the Lin Kuei Temple. We will distract the Red Dragon to aid your departure. I will leave at once. Okay, so, walk into the cave, and look, that is actually the first Kami Dogu. Awesome. There we go. That's what Damashi was going crazy over, the fucking Kami Dogu. So we'll run out, and we'll get a conversation with him. Damashi, I have joined the Lin Kuei. I have learned Sub-Zero's fu- That object you carry, yes, it is as I suspected. Through the ignorance of the Lin Kuei, you have acquired the Earthrealm Kami Doru. I have? You must find the portal to the Nexus. When it opens, walk through to continue your quest. But the Lin Kuei- Must I remind you that your loyalties are to the Elder Gods, not to the Lin Kuei. Continue with your appointed quest. Yes, Damashi. I understand. Alright. So, Damashi is basically telling us, fuck the Lin Kuei, we have to follow his orders. And now, we will run towards the green aura up there. That's where it is on the map, pretty much the top right hand corner of the screen. What's that? H2 or something. That's where the portal is. But before we go over there, remember how I said, oh coin, up here there will be the Kenshi Puzzle Fighter. Meditate till, I think it's from 7 a.m. I don't know, let's just meditate. Oh, there it is. Okay, so what time was that? 6.30 p.m. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, there he is, the Kenshi Puzzle Fighter. So, I've pretty much done everything I can in Earthrealm here now. I've done all the side missions I'm able to do. I've unlocked everything I'm able to unlock. Let's go ahead over here and end it. To save the realms. To aid me? 
These portals lead to each of the realm that conceals a Kamidogu. Each time you recover a Kamidogu, you must return it to the Nexus and place it on that altar. Doing so will unlock the portal to the next realm for you to search. Which portal will open first? Place the Earth Realm Kamidogu on the altar and you will know. It would seem that the Elder Gods wish for their champion to search the Nether Realm next. I must warn you, it is a dark and evil place. I will be on my guard. <laughs> I love how Damashi goes, it is a dark and evil place. It certainly is, and if you remember earlier on I said that you can't actually enter the nether realm unless your soul is corrupt to some degree. Shujinko, while he appears to be a self-effacing sage, he is one sick fuck. He's a thief and a killer. And that's the only way to get into the nether realm. Nah, look, in all seriousness, it's because of his training with the Lin Kuei. That has actually corrupted his soul. And so that is why he is able to enter the nether realm. We learn this a bit later on. But I'll leave it there, guys, and I will see you in the next video where we go through the nether realm. I'm out.